share meeting share it now a window eto okay oh ready na kayo guys can we start tara yan oh sige oh ready na kayo dito na kayo guys <laughs> Hello? Ready na kayo? Okay, sige. Sagot kayo pag tinanong ko tayo. <laughs> Wala lang, para naman ano tayo. Okay. So, okay. Uh, hello, welcome ulit. Sorry for the long break. Um, today, Uh, we're gonna start with, ano, we're going to start with electricity or electromagnetism. Um, if you think about the study of electrons dito sa physics. Pero, um, more importantly, so, ayan, uh, this is a different area again of physics than the usual thing you're doing. So, we're gonna jump right into it. Um, ito, heavy to on, ano, heavy to on, Uh, yung mga force, yung mga free value diagram, kaya I hope na alala nyo pa kung paano gumawa nito. So, uh, it's okay. I'll, I'll demonstrate naman how we are going to do this. So, let's start. So, let's start with electrostatics and electric potential. So, tatlong topic tayo. Um, electric force, electric field, and electric potential. So, um, let's start. Uh, with the electric charge. So, electrostatics ay yung study of stationary electric charges. Pero, um, okay. After, uh, so next, um, okay. Uh, electric charge naman, uh, dalawa yan, positive or negative. Okay? Pwede rin, ano yan, Pwede rin neutral, pero technically, that's not a charge, okay? I'll show more of that later. Ang unit for charge natin ay Coulomb or C, okay? So, ayan, neutral, it means that an object has no charge or in another word, in, a, in other layman's terms, equal amount of positive and negative charge. So, ito, example, kapag nilagay natin to sa isang box, ito, 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 itong dalawa na yan, neutral yan kasi nagka-cancel out yung charge nila. Plus 1, minus 1, equals 0. So, yun ang charge, neutral charge. Okay? Sige. So, ito, I think na-try nyo naman to sa magnet especially. Um, uh, ayan. Uh, two positive, two like charges repel each other. Kaya pag sa magnet, di ba, pinagtikit nyo yung parehong pole, nag-repel sila. It's just an analogy. That's not because of this. And a positive and a negative charge or opposite charges will attract each other. Siyempre. Okay, gets naman? Okay naman? Okay, yan. Yeah. Okay, sige. Um, ito, this is another example. So, kapag nag-grab tayo ng mga plastic rod, sa, tawag dito ay charging pala. Charging by uh, rubbing. Or, in another words, if you've heard of static electricity, ayan, nagkaka-charge yung mga objects kapag uh, kinis-kiss natin sa isang bagay, di ba? It's just a simple way of saying it. Ayan, pag chinarge natin sa fur, magiging parehong negative. So, ayan, mag-repel sila. Um, next naman, pag rinab natin yung glass sa silk, magkaka-positive charge yung glass. So, ayan, mag-repel din sila. Tapos, pag pinagdikit natin itong dalawa, na-attract sila kasi opposite sila ng charge and uh, tatandaan nyo to ah, ang fur I mean, sa conceptual pag fur natin rinab yung isang object ne- ano yan, negative charge ay um, magkaka-negative charge then kapag sa seat natin nirab yung isang object magiging positive charge positively charged siya so yon it's just one thing then, ayun, mag-attract and Uh, mag-attract yung opposite charges na yun. So, ito yung mga fundamental charges natin. Uh, uh, proton, 
1.60 to times 10 to the negative 19 C, 1.67 times 10 to the negative 27. Take note yun na lang to, ah. Kasi, you know, medyo important to in our topic today. Yan, take note yun na lang. Yun yung mga fundamental particles natin. Proton for positive, neutral for zero charge, and electron for negative charge. Yan, yun yung mga mass nila. Mabigat yung proton, especially, kasi nga may charge sa and electron. Uh, ano siya? Uh, one of the lightest uh, subatomic particles na meron tayo. So, let's now move on to the principles of electric charge. Um, ayan. Um, for principles of electric charge, uh, ito una, law of conservation. Uh, no electric charge is created or destroyed. So, example, ito. Ayan, kita nyo, di ba? Neutral siya. Pero nung pinag-touch niya, kasi conductor yan, naging equal sila. May nawala ba charge? Wala. So, the sum of all electric charges in a closed system is constant. Okay? Tapos next is, um, electric charge is quantized. So, ibig sabihin lang nito, uh, ito yung, um, basically, yung pinaka-elementary charge unit natin for um, electricity, although di naman ito masyado ginagamit, is E. Ayan, no, letter E which is equal to 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. Napakaliit kasi ng charge ng electron, so they decided to make it into a unit. Pero does it matter naman? Uh, just saying na quantized parate. So if may makikita kayong, um, if may makikita kayong, ayan, mga, let's say, 3.204 times 10 to the negative 19, yun, it follows our principles of electric charge. Kasi 2E yun, 2E. Okay. Uh, pag, ben, pag walang walang 1 half e walang 3 over 2 e walang ganyan okay always remember that ah tas ayan let's move on to the next part of our lesson uh, methods of charging um, okay uno una sa, sa pag uh, sa charging natin of objects always remember na yung electrons lang yung gumagalaw parate okay uh, an so, kaya that's why we define an object to be positively charged. If there are less electrons than protons in an object, ayan no, net charge is uh, positive 2 kasi mas konti yung negatives. Um, Tapos, uh, negatively charged naman pag marami yung electron, syempre. O, ayan no, example, ito. Ayan. Tapos, neutral, sabi ko nga kanina, equal number. Okay, nagigets naman, guys. Okay naman? Okay, let's go. Tapos, ayun. Uh, yun yung tatandaan natin dito, ha? Yung electrons na yung gumagalaw parate. Okay? So, we have two methods of charging. Conduction and induction. So, let's start with conduction. Unang-una, may tatlo tayong kasi na material. So, meron tayong mga insulator. Uh, which does not allow the free flow of charge. Ayan, so pag pinagtikit natin itong dalawang metal ball na ito, uh, na connected by wood, tamo, walang nampuntang charge sa kabila. Okay? Tapos ito, conductor, allows free flow of charge. Or yung pag gumagalaw yung charge, yung tawag natin doon, free electrons. So, ayan, unang-una ito, kasi ayan, plus, minus, plus, minus, yan. Hmm... Nangyari, ay mga electrons, uh, ayan, di ba? Pumunta siya dito para magpantay sila ng number and mas dumami yung, uh, mas kumunti yung electrons kaysa sa protons. Kaya naging positively charge sa metal. Okay? Tapos, uh, semiconductor, uh, it exhibits conductivity that of an insulator and conductor. So, uh, we don't have a graph right now, pero at some temperatures, insulator yung material, and at some temperatures, conductor yung material. Ang example nito, yung mga silicon, yung mga ginagamit sa mga computer na circuits, ganon. Uh, they have semiconductors. Okay? And so, lastly, ito nyo yung method, uh, charging by contact. It allows free electrons to move such that the two objects that touch end up with the same sign of charge. So, ayan, Neutral siya. Dahil positive to, positively charged to, ma-attract siya ng electrons para doon siya dumaan. Tapos pag inalis natin, yung uh, conductor, 
ay yung rad pala natin, yung charged metal object natin, magiging positively charged na to kasi natanggal niya lahat ng electrons. Ayan na. Yun ang, yun ang sabihin natin by charging. Okay? Then, charging by induction. Um, inducing charge, yung sabihin, uh, kunwari meron, di ba? Um, ito, uh, it, uh, nalapit lang natin isang object sa isa para gumala yung electron sa loob ng isang object natin. So, example, uh, dito, example dito, yan siya, di ba? Tapos, nilapit natin to Yung mga electrons nito, di ba, nakakalat lang yan. Nalapit na siya dito. So, pag hinati natin to sa dalawa, guys, yung left part ng rod natin, negative yan. Ito, positive. Always remember that, ha? Then, ito naman, ang tawag dito ay ground. Okay? Kasi ang earth ay isang malaking, ano yan, isang malaking storage of uh, electrons yan. Isang malaking uh, storage of electricity yan. So, definitely, uh, pag nagdali tayo ng ground, yung electrons pupunta lang doon. Kasi nga, it's the uh, it's the biggest storage of electrons that we have. So, kapag nag-correct tayo ng metal rod sa ground, tas uh, nilapit natin yung, nilapit natin itong, ah, uh, Uh, negatively charged rod natin, pupunta dito yung positive, yung negative pupunta dito, pero nakakonect siya sa ground, so doon siya pupunta. So, pag tinaris natin to, positive na lang yung matitira. Okay? You get this more kasi um, meron akong ganito sa problem set natin mamaya. Then, uh, ito, magiging project nito sa grade 10. Ewan ko lang kung gagawin nyo pa. Ang tawag dito ay uh, electroscope. It is one of the uh, native methods of determining the charge of an object. So, ito, uh, chinarge natin to, chinarge natin electroscope by conduction. Uh, so, ayan, nung nilapit natin, syempre, naging positive na yung buong ano. Ito, ay sorry, let me repeat ha. Ito, charging by induction. Ito, conduction. Nung conduction, ayan, naging positive na lahat. Nung, uh, nung nilapit natin to, ayan, uh, yung mga electrons na punta dito, then yung mga protons na punta dito. Okay? So, let's try this naman. Example, um, itong electroscope natin, negatively charged, uh, naglapit tayo ng negatively charged rod, induction nito. Siyempre, what can you say? Na, ano, siyempre, mag-repel yung charges, di ba? Lahat sila pupunta sa baba. Kaya lumaki yung gap between the electroscope. Pero pag positively charged rod naman yung nilapit natin, uh, pupunta lahat ng charge sa taas, so lalapit to. Kasi hihina yung repulsion between charges. Okay? Sige. Ayun, that is the first part of our lesson. Gets naman? That's just the conceptual part. Uh, not that hard naman. Dito tayo mas magko-concentrate. Gets naman yung una kong uh, uh, in-explain sa inyo, guys. Gets. Okay. Sige. We'll, we'll, ano, we'll have the same approach kasi yung mga topics natin ngayon sa physics, uh, makikita pa sila. So, we'll be adapting the problem set din mamaya. Okay? Sige. Let's see. Um, electric force. So, um, I'll just go straight into it naman. Mahirap yung derivation kasi nito. Sa physics 4 pa siya. So, um, Coulomb's law. The electric, electrostatic force exerted by a charge on another charge is defined by Coulomb's law. Which is if we are in the electric force exerted on a charge is KQ1, Q2 over R squared. Yan, di na, na ito masyado importante. Pero um, just for information, uh, K is called the Coulomb's constant and magkapareho yan. Uh, ang E naught, epsilon naught, ay permittivity of free space. Uh, don't worry, it's nothing to concentrate naman. To concentrate about then Q1 and Q2 are the point charges. Okay? Now, let's see. Ah, ito pala yung, ano natin, ito pala yung convention natin. Well, depende to sa teacher nyo. Uh, minsan, yung iba, um, sinasulat, ganyan, F1 on 2. Yan, yung iba, ganun. Yung sabi, force, force on charge 2 by charge 1. Ito lang baliktad eh. Pag F1 to force on charge 1 by force, ay by charge 2. Kasi, 
uh, ayan di ba plus plus sila so magre-repel sila kaya mag uh, kaya mag uh, iba yung direction ng kanilang force so syempre uh, let's look at let's look at charge 2 ah. let's look at charge 2 uh, yung force na inexert niya kay charge 1 ay palayo syempre okay kaya yun yung force wa- force on 1 by charge 2 now let's look at charge 1 ano yung inexert na force kay charge 2 Siyempre, um, siyempre, uh, palayo rin siya kasi nga, proton ito. Okay? So, force on, so, force on charge 2 by charge 1. Okay? It follows din dito and dito. Dito naman, uh, let's look at charge 2, pinupul, uh, pinupul niya na sa kanya kasi nga, nag-attract sila. Kasi nga, opposite sila ng charges. So, ang tawag dyan, if force on 1 by charge 2, and the same goes on to here. Now, I have a question for you. Itong mga force na yan, tingin nyo, equal ba yan ng magnitude? Tingin nyo, guys. Ah, uh, opo. Bakit? Yung, may dyan, the relative distance for them is the same. Um, like for each. So, in the pen. Hindi kita masyado mitindihan, pero, uh, eh, Okay lang. Uh, for each particle in the pair, uh, they the same distance apart. So, it wouldn't change in value. Hindi <laughs> uh, talaga tinitid yan? Sige, it's okay. Um, um, eto kaya, iba naman. Tingin nyo, um, iba naman, sige. Pero tama, dapat same sila ng magnitude. Tingin nyo, bakit sila same ng magnitude, guys? Hindi iba naman. Si 6 one lesson. Loss of motion. Bakit kaya? Okay. Sige. I'll just go straight into it. Kasi, ano nga ulit yung third law of, ano? Ano nga ulit yung third law of motion ni Newton? Sige nga, guys. Wala. Okay. Um, ang third law ay, um, ano, uh, there's an equal and opposite force acting on an object, di ba? Uh, can't remember the exact system, pero ayun, dahil sa Newton's third law, syempre, kung ano man yung inexert ng isang particle sa isa, yun din yung ma-experience nung isa. Okay? Remember that, ha? Conceptual, conceptual question yon. So, eto na. Let's start solving yung mga tanong natin. Um, determine, so, ano yung mga steps? Unang-una, determine where the force is acting towards. I'll show you later kung paano yun. Number two, this calculate the components of the force. Take note, disregard, di ba, positive, negative. Disregard yun mo na yung signs, ha? Mamaya na yun. Then lastly, take the resultant force magnitude and direction. Sige, let's start. I'll, I'll take care of this one. Um, Ito, determine the magnitude and direction of the electric force on the electron of a hydrogen proton. Ito. Exerted by the single proton. That is the atom's nucleus. Okay. So, ano yung sabihin nyo to? Let's look at the board, ha? Tignan natin yung board. So, ito yung proton. Ito yung electron. Sabi natin, force on the electron. So, uh, una-una, ano sabi? Determine kung saan papunta yung force. So, ayan. Dahil, ano, Eka, let's see the question. Um, exerted by the single proton. Okay. So, uh, we're looking at the proton, di ba? So, syempre, dahil opposite sila, hinihila niya yun. So, ito. Um, uh, sabi natin, ito yung particle 1, ito yung particle 2. Uh, F21 ito. Okay? Force on charge 2 by charge 1. Okay, now... Alam na natin yun, di ba? Next, we compute the components of the uh, force, di ba? Uh, yung force 2 on 1 natin equals, sabi natin, disregard the signs. Ayan. So, let's disregard the signs. Okay. Um, okay, Q1, Q2 over R squared, which is equal to 9.00 times 10 to the 9. Anong charge ng, ano, anong charge ng, uh, anong charge ng proton and electron, di ba? 
1.602 times 10 to the negative 19. Sige. Dahil pareho naman sila, sa square ko na lang sila. Over, ano yung radius natin? 0.53 times 10 to the negative 10 squared. Okay, now let's calculate that. Check natin sa calculator natin. Um, 9 times 10 to the 9 times uh, 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19 squared over 0.53 times 10 to the negative 10 squared. Lalabas sa atin ay, let's see the answer, 8.2 times 10 to the negative 8. Tapos yung direction ng force natin, kasi force ito, ay, um, dahil nga, ano siya, uh, towards the proton. Or pwede rin to the lift. Okay lang yan. Okay. Nag-gets ba guys? Nakita naman. Nag-gets naman, guys. Okay, sige. Now, let's try it. Let's try naman dito. Ito, sige, ako pa rin. Um, let's may exercise ako sa inyo. After nito. Okay, so... Sige. So, three charged particles... Sulat ko lang sa board, ha? Basahin nyo na lang yung given. Ayan. So, um... Okay. So, sige. Let's try this. Nabasa nyo naman siguro. So, ito pa rin given guys. Nakita nyo naman siguro. Uh, three charged particles are arranged in a line as shown below. Calculate the net electrostatic force on particle 3 due to the other electric charges. So, now let's look at, let's go back to the whiteboard. So, yan na. Let's see. So, um, force on particle 3. So, ito yon. Q3 to, ito. Q3. Q2. Q1. Okay? So, force on Q3 due to the other two charges. So, sabi, sabi ko kanina, uh, determine muna natin kung saan yung directions ng force natin. So, ito. Dito, due to Q2, dito siya. F32. Ay, sorry. Mali, 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 mali. Sorry. Um, F3 by 2. So, dito siya kasi proton siya, di ba? Ito naman, palayo siya. Kasi, uh, kasi, nire-repel niya yung charge, di ba? So, now let's go. Okay. So, now, um, let's ano, Let's uh, let's determine kung saan, let's determine the resultant force na. So syempre, for net force equals to um, F31 minus um, F32 kasi uh, F31 is uh, to the right and F32 is to the left. Okay? So let's just ano, uh, let's just do it. F31 equals okay? Um, Q3 Q1 over R squared plus itong F32 is um, K Q3 Q2 over R squared Okay, now let's substitute um, Take note na kailangan natin mag-convert kasi micro yan so, negative 4.0 times 10. Ay, sorry. Disregard the charges, ha? Disregard the charges. 
disregard the signs. Negative 6 times negative 8 times um, negative 6 over 0.5 kasi radius is 0.5 minus ito k times um, k times um, f3 1, f3 2. Okay, tama pala ako. K times um, q3, 4.0 times 10 to the negative 6 times 3.0 times 10 to the negative 6 over 0.2 squared. Sige nga guys, pakicalculate. Ano lalabas dito? Or di nyo masyado mabasa? Sige, I'll calculate. Yun guys ha, ingat lang dito sa topic natin na to kasi um, madalas mag-convert. So, ingat lang. So, we'll get, uh, we'll get something na uh, negative 1.5. So, when we, once we solve this, okay, ah, bubarayin ko na to. City Kasha. Once we solve this, we'll get na uh, F equals negative 1.5 newtons. Ano yung sabihin yan? Diba, ano? Diba, F31 minus F32. So, diba, F31 minus F32. So, pag negative view ito, ibig sabihin, mas malaki yung force nito, mas dominant. So, that, that's where our step 3 comes in. Saan papunta yung, ano yung direction? Papunta sa left. Okay? Towards the left. Kasi nga, mas malaki to. Sabihin nyo yung mas dominant force, doon siya papunta. Na get? So, ang sagot natin, as shown in the screen, is 1.5 newtons to the left. Na gets ba yung demonstration ko, guys? Teka ha. Okay. Sige, ito yung exercise ko sa inyo. Now, determine the electrostatic force on particle 1. Particle, particle, di pala, joke lang. Particle 2 na lang, sige. Particle 2. Determine the, determine the electrostatic force on particle 1 due to the other two charges. Sige nga guys, tara. Um, same drill as before. Send sa GC. Okay, I'll give you... Sige, medyo matagal to. I'll give you 5 minutes. Okay? Sige, let's go. Sorry, ay, medyo magulo. Kasi, yun nga, maraming ginagawa. Sa grade 10, ito yung mga pinaka... Sa mga pinaka nakakainis na topic. Kasi ang daming ginagawa, eh, ba? Sa particle 1 yung, ano natin ah, particle 1 tayo.
Ang um, masasabi ko pang isang teknik dito, siyempre, inyak kayo sa kalpyo kasi, yeah, medyo, medyo labor intensive siya. Let me see, ha? Ah. Uh, in a bit done. Minus. Um. Tama ito. Good job. Yung iba, follow up na lang. tapos discuss natin good job mo that's good um sige okay Let's give it around 3 minutes more. Oh, good job. Yeah, go, let's just keep it coming.
Okay. Uh, one minute more. Okay, let's go. Tama ito, uh, Megan. Good job. Ah, oh, who's that? Oh, let's discuss. Sige. Um, di pa kanirapan kayo. Sige, let's have a rundown. Um, sige, unang-una, first step natin, determine natin kung saan pagpunta yung mga forces. So, sabi natin here, di ba? So, due to charge 2, doon siya papunta. Kasi hilahin siya, di ba? F1, 2. Then, due to charge 3, dito siya pupunta kasi it's gonna push it away, mag-repel. F1, 3. So, F equals to, um, ay, let's see. Okay, good job. Okay, discuss ko lang ha. So, um, dahil ganun, uh, F, 1, 2, minus F1, 3. So, we just substitute and convert. We will get 1.248 N. Positive siya. Ibig sabihin, mas maraki yung force na nasa kanan, which is F1, 2. Right. Okay. Nag-gets ba? Yung mga hindi nakasagot, okay lang ba? Nag-gets ba, guys? Oh, sige. Gets na po. Okay, sige. Sige, let's move. Let's move. Um, we'll have more of this naman. Don't worry. Um, dito. Okay. Eto naman. Paano pag ganito? Yan. <laughs> Yan. Parang complicated na stuff, di ba? So, sige. Uh, ano nga ba gawin ko? Okay. Um... Now, let me demonstrate to you kung paano ito. Teka lang ha. Medyo mahaba to. Sige. Masang eraser ko. Okay. Di, basahin nyo na lang muna yung problem, guys. I'll just set up my figure.
Okay. So now let's look at the let's look at the board. Huh? Okay, so ito na. So step one. Ang sabi sa atin ay determine the force on the net force on charge 3 due to the other particles. So step one, determine muna kung saan pupunta yung force. Force on 3 by charge 2 dahil positive siya pareho, you can say na sa taas siya papunta. F 3 2. Then next, um charge 1 dahil magka-opposite sila, dito siya papunta. F 3 1. Okay, so ito na yung, ito na yung, ito na yung major part dito. Uh, Magka-components tayo. Naalala pa kung paano mag-solve ng force nung grade 9, resultant force. Naalala pa naman siguro na, <laughs> gets pa naman yun. Naalala pa yun. Ano guys? Okay, sige. Now let's, ano, I'll bring it into focus. Um, F32 F31 Yan uh, Para mas madali sa atin Yan Ito ay Kasi sabi 30 degrees daw ito diba So by geometry Dapat 30 degrees din ito diba Okay So Solve by components Yan na um, Siyempre we still disregard the sign So let's look at the y Y So axis muna Ah, meron lang, ito, F32, pataas siya, minus F31, which is ito. Mas talagyan natin ng uh, Y component, so which is, ano, uh, which is, uh, sin 30. Teka, ha? Tama ba to? Yes. Wait lang, let me check something lang. Sorry. Hmm. Tara. Ay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, isa pa, isa pa, isa pa. Right, isa pa, ha? So, okay, okay. So, yung y-axis natin is F32, kasi wala na siya ibang component, tapos, plus F31. Um, sine 30. Tama, minus to. Kasi, pababa siya, di ba? 30 degrees, tapos pababa siya. So, dapat negative yung makuha natin. So, uh, doing the math, um, my God, um, okay, ya. F32 is K, Q3, Q2, over R squared, minus K, Q3, Q1, over R squared, sin 30. Um, mahabang, mahabang computation yan. So, um, I'll put it, ano, I'll just give the answer for the Y component. Dapat makuha natin dito ay 255 newtons. Okay? Yan ha. 252 cm. Papala ay 52 cm. And this one is 30 cm. And this one is um, 60 cm. Okay, that's for the y component. Ngayon, for the x component naman, ito yung makukuha natin. Okay? Yung sa y, wala na yan. So, natitira lang, ito. Itong, itong, ano, itong F31 lang. So, simply F31 cosine 30, which is equal to, if we do the, if we do the computation, uh, 120 newtons. So, ayan, this one is the x component, this one is the y component. 
Now, let's get the third step, resultant. So, ang uh, resultant force natin ay yung square root ng x squared plus y squared, di ba? Um, F31 ay 120 squared plus 255 squared, which is equal to um, 280 newtons. Tapos, um, yung direction nito, ganito. Um, get natin yung ano, uh, tangent, inverse tangent ng ito, di ba? Uh, y over x which is equal to um, which is equal to uh, 2 point, ano, which is equal to 65 degrees. Okay? So, that's our direction. So, pag makikita natin dito, dapat 65 degrees to, 218 newtons. Nag-gets ba, guys? Nag-gets ba? It's ano, it's like the usual vector problems na ginagawa natin nung grade 9. Nag-gets ba, guys? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, sige. Now, uh, as an exercise, eto naman, force on particle 2 due to the other two charges. Let's go, let's try, ah. Game. Ay, sorry, hindi pala pinakita yung, ano, pala pinakita yung problem, sorry, sorry. Teka, um, ayan, okay, sige. Now, force on particle 2 naman. Sige, let's try, ah. Mga, sige, let's give this, ano, let's give this uh, 10 minutes naman. Kasi medyo mahirap tong ginagawa natin. Medyo ano ito ah. CUM. Hindi nga ano ito. <laughs> Yung sa right triangle ah. Yan on. Okay. Never the list. Let's go. CCM. 52. With direction, guys, I'll give the direction.
ये आई चेक देखा बाकी लोग काटते हैं Okay, tama si Mo. Good job. <laughs> oh. Oh, three to five. So three to one. Tama rin direction. Okay. Look at this. Two clicks. Dapat dito siya. Tama. Sige. Job going to you. Mm -hmm. This car is here. Uh, oh.
Megan, um, specify mo kung saan yung direction. Uh, 6.2 degrees saan exactly? Um, above the x-axis, below the x-axis. Uh, ayun, parang ganun. At yun lang, paki-specify lang. Oh, tapos, um, double check your uh, Q over R squared. Yeah, double check your um, calculation. Kasi dapat, ano, dapat, uh, ang tawag dito? Dapat, uh, dapat, um, whole number. I mean, dapat di siya matawag dito. Basta may mali sa calculation mo. Siguro sa conversion. Double check mo na lang may gano. But nevertheless, the process is good. Sige, 5 more minutes before I discuss. Mm-hmm. Okay, so next meeting natin, uh, we'll discuss fully yung uh, problem set na ibibig sa inyo. Kasi, yeah, parang medyo mahirap to for uh, you guys. Sige, sige. next part na lesson natin it's going to be similar don't worry
Sige, one minute. Okay. Okay, let's discuss. Um Yeah, um kita na kaya to. Um okay. Uh, let's look at the screen here. So, ngayon, uh, let's do the same process pa rin. Step 1, 2 and 3. Step 1, uh, determine natin kung saan nag-act yung mga force natin. So, for here, dito sa charge 2, uh, let's look at charge 1. Hinihila siya doon. So, F on 2 by charge 1. Ito naman, sa charge 3, positive sila pareho. So, dapat, uh, push downwards na yun. Okay? Um, ngayon, let's do step 2. Let's get the components. So, pansin natin na dapat straight down and to the left lang naman yung uh, yung components ng force natin. So, pwede natin diretso sa step 3. We take the resultant. So, force on 2 by charge 3, we do this. K times Q, 3 times Q, 2 over 0.3 squared. We'll get 325 newtons. Tapos, force on 2 by charge 1 is KQ2, Q1 over R squared. So, pag uh, singulat natin yon, pag sinipify natin yun, 143.1. Uh, take note dito, we don't care about the signs pa, as in, take the positives lang ng mga magnitude natin. Then, once we square both and get the resultant, kasi that's how we do it dati, we'll get 355 newtons. Now, let's look at the direction. Um, we'll get, uh, di ba, y over x, 325 over 143.1, 66 degrees, mga ganon. Now, let's take a look. Diba, ito siya. So, dapat nandito siya. So, ito, dapat yung 66 degrees. Okay? So, 66 degrees, the south of the x-axis. Okay, nakuha ba, guys? Nakuha ba, guys? Gets, gets so. Okay. Sige. Now, let's move on to the next part of our lesson. Okay? Um, the next part of our lesson is the electric field. Okay? Siyempre, I think the more familiar term you have heard, well, kahit naman hindi pa... Eh, teka, present na ba ako? Hindi pa pala. Um, a window... Yan. So, ngayon, 
let's move to the electric field. Um, I'm sure yung mas familiar kayo ay yung magnetic field. Without, uh, kasi, uh, I, think it was the, I think it's the most popular thing that is closest to your mind right now. Tama kayo. It acts like a uh, magnetic field. Pero, in what sense? Um, Sige, the electric field is the region of space around an electrically charged particle and object in which an electric charge would feel a force. So, in default, pag may positive charge tayo, yung mga field lines niya or yung electric field niya ay palabas. Ayan, pag ganun siya. Then, in de from uh, default, the electric field from an isolated negative charge is papasok siya. Okay? Ganun siya. So, now let's move on. Um, okay. So, next. Uh, actually, ang isa pang way kung paano natin malalaman yan is naglagay tayo ng ano, balik tayo dito. Let's erase all ink. Naglagay tayo ng test charge. Ng point charge. At default, at default ha, positive parate. Positive yung charge dyan. Okay? Positive yung point charge natin. Okay? Dahil positive yan, yung electric field due to this is palabas. Ayan. Kaya sa palabas. Ganun din dito. Uh, positive yan. So, therefore, yung field yan, papasok. Kasi, pinakatak nila isa't isa. So, kapag Pinagsama natin yung dalawa. Yung electric field yan looks like this. Look ah. It flows from plus to minus. Parate. Yung mga electric field line natin. Okay, remember that. Then kapag naman magkaiba, ayan. So, uh, repels each other. Okay. Um, the electric field is the force exerted on a tiny positive test charge placed at a point in space divided by the magnitude of the test charge Q or in other words force per unit charge so applying dito kanina dito sa pinakauna natin so ayan naglagay tayo ng test charge Q so electric field na napoproduce nito ay yan F over uh, ay sorry O, tama, F over Q. Yun yun. Yun yung sabihin nun. Okay. Tapos, um, ang other way to write it, di ba? Um, ito. Um, e equals F over Q. Tapos, yung coulombs daw natin, Q, Q, Q over R squared. Q, 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 uh, small Q yung test charge natin. Point charge, uh, yun yung yung in-examine natin. Bale. Um, yun ang capital Q natin. So, that's where, that's where it goes. Okay? Uh, Q is the point charge. Q is the test charge. This F is the electrostatic force as calculated kanina. Tas, uh, now, let's move on. Okay. So, ito lang ulit kanina. Um... Electric field of a positive charge goes outward. For the negative charge, it moves inward. Then, ayan. So, that's the yun yung definition kanina. Test charge Q. Then, ito yung pa, big Q natin. E equals um, F over Q or K, Q, ito yun, over R squared. Okay, yeah, that's just the other way of uh, interpreting it. Siguro, mas may kilihan nyo, by figures, ha? Then, ayan, another example na, kuhintak nyo yun sa inyo kanina. Then, okay, yung field lines is proportional to the charge. Okay, so, tingnan nyo, ha? Dito sa negative, one half yung charge niya sa positive na to. So, bilangin natin kung ilan. Pumapasok dito. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, 6 yan. 6 na yung pumapasok na field line sa negative charge. Dito sa positive charge, ilan? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yun, twice as much yung lumalabas na field lines sa um, 
sa positive charge natin kaysa sa negative charge. Remember that, ha? dapat proportional parate. Then ito, other way of uh, interpreting an electric field, we put two parallel plates, parallel charge plates, tapos yung electric field flows from high to low. Okay, remember that, ha? So, Coulomb's law, paano ulit yan? Same lang sa kanina, um, determine where the field is acting towards. I'll show you later. Next is calculate the components and lastly, take the resultant field. So, pareho lang siya kanina sa electric force. Field nga lang yung, uh, yung, yung inaano natin dito. Sige, let's start ha. So, yan, pakibasa na lang muna yung given. I'll just draw the given. Okay, nandiyan na yung sagot, pero nevertheless, I'll show you kung bakit. Um, sige, ito na. So, step 1, determine the direction. Yung test charge natin at P is always positive. Always remember to, ta, positive siya. Yung yung charge natin dito ay negative. So, saan papunta yung field acting on this? Papunta siya sa left. Kasi, ito yung ano natin eh. Ito yung, ito, yung, ito yung point charge natin. Ito yung test charge. So, yan. Pupunta siya sa left kasi uh, ina-attract siya nito. Okay? So, gets ba yun, guys? Yan, ha? Gets yun, ha? Gets, gets, gets. Gets ba, guys? Okay, sige. Ngayon, let's calculate the electric field. Tapos na tayo. Okay? Q over R squared. Uh, K times negative 3 times 10 to the negative 6 over R squared. 0.3 squared. So, if we get it, ay, don't, don't put the sign pala muna rin. Don't put the sign. Okay? Ayan. So, we will get the answer as um, Teka lang, let me see. So, we'll get the answer as this. Uh, 3, po, 3 times 10 to the 5th newtons per coulomb. To the left. Kasi nga kanina, to the left pa po tayo. Okay? Sige ah. Now, um, okay. Kaya nila ito. Kaya nila ito. Sige nga, let me test your knowledge. Try nyo yung letter A, guys. Try nyo yung letter A. Sige. Try, try nyo yung letter A, ah. Same logic lang kanina sa electric force. Kung ano yung ginagawa nyo kanina, ganun din dito. Ang pinagkaiba nga lang, we're taking the different quantity. Okay, now let's see. Let's try letter A. Eh. Try niya letter A. Then, send niyo yung sagot sa, um, send niyo yung sagot sa, ano natin, sa group chat natin.
Up, uh, move. Check for that. It's wrong. Pero tama yung direction. Oh, by the way, ang unit pala ng electric field ay force per unit charge. So, ang unit ng electric field ay um, newtons per coulomb. Yung pala. Yun. see. Okay. Sige, let's discuss in a while. I think I know where you got wrong. Sige, tingin mo na dito. I'll, I'll, I'll do the first step, ha? Huh? Um, okay. So, look dito, ha? Huh? So, una-una. Sige, let's start muna sa point P, ha? Huh? Yung point P. Meron tayong Q equals 50. Dito, meron tayong Q equals negative 25. So, now let's determine the direction of electric field. So, due, take note, ha, positive to, positive parati to. So, due to, due to Q2, saan pa punta electric field? Palayo. Diba? E2. Ito naman, sa Q1, positive to, ha, dapat pupunta sa kanya, kasi ina-attract niya. E1. Ayun. Okay, that's the first step. Ah, sige. Um, okay. Teka, let me see your, ano, ah. 25. Okay. Ah, okay. It's na. Sige, sige. direction. Oh, 
Oh, okay, sige, let's discuss. Let's discuss, ha? Discuss muna. Sige, baka yun may team guidance. Please. Um, okay. Sige, let's start from the start, ha? Mm-hmm. Ngayon, step one. Step one, ha? Let's start with step one. Okay, so sa point P natin, um, teka, sa point P natin, sa point P natin, positive to, ha, positive charge yan. So, eto, electric field sa 2, dito sa P, should be going away from Q2. So, pupunta dapat sa left. Kasi, positive din to eh. Ito naman, dahil negative to, dapat doon din papunta yung electric field due to charge 1. Okay? So, step 2, ignore all charges. Ngayon, let's take the magnitude. Same direction sila, so pwede natin i-add. Okay? KQ1 over R squared plus KQ2 over R squared. KQ1, Q1 is uh, ito, Q2 is this. So, kapag uh, kapag uh, kinuha tayo yung sagot, lalabas ito, 6.3 times to the negative 8, ito ang square coulomb. Tapos, to the left siya. Kasi, obvious naman. Okay. Ngayon, nagets ba yun, guys? Nagets ba yung, um, nagets ba yung uh, ginawa natin? <laughs> nagets ba yung ginawa natin, guys? Okay, sige. Ngayon, let's solve yung um, let's solve yung question 2. Tingnan niyo, anong gagamitin? Ano nang Teka lang, balik ako sa Tingnan niyo, ano gagawin ko sa part 2? F equals MA lang, di ba? Okay. Tama, di ba? So, divide by the Yes. Tama. And the electron charge. So, sige, ah. Di ba? Acceleration equals force over mass. Okay. Ito, ano to? QE. Yung kanina. Naalala nyo siguro yon. That's one of our first Ay, sorry, di pala ako nagpakita na white word. Ayan. So, ayan, QE. Ito yung kanina, di ba? If kinakuha natin yung formula, over M, na electron, ala. Kasi sabi, electron yung pinalabas natin sa field. Eh. Okay. So, Q equals to ah, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 times 6.3 times 10 to the 8 newtons per coulomb over... 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. When we calculate it, ang lalabas ay dapat, let's look at our answer, ang lalabas dapat ay 1.1 times 10 to the 20 meters per second squared. Nasa direction nun? To the left. Kasi nga, yung electric field dati, papunta sa left. Okay. So, ayan. Let's, uh, uh, important concept. So, the acceleration ng... Ay, hindi. Sige, mamaya na yun. Okay. Let's start with the concept later. Na important ako tuturo sa inyo. Okay, next. Ngayon, paano naman pag ganito na naman? <laughs> uh, the usual old problem. So, sige. I'll, I'll discuss muna. Basahin nyo na muna. I'll, I'll put the given here sa board. Same figure lang siya kanina. Ang pinagkaiba lang ay uh, iba lang yung kinukuha natin tanong. Uh -huh. 
Mm. Pareho siya rin ang charge. Okay. Sige. It's 30 degrees. Sige. Now let's look at the board ulit ha. So ang tinatanong sa atin ay um, ano yung electric field at point A, which is this one. Ano right electric field dito? So, let's just do the same thing as kanina. First step is to determine yung direction na field. So, syempre, uh, positive to. So, dapat yung electric field dito, due to charge 2, is upwards. Negative to, dapat dito siya papunta, towards it, E1. So, yung resultant natin should be somewhere there. Right? Sige. Now, let's move on to step 2. Components na naman. Now, we're going to do a close-up ulit, ha? Ayan. Um, wala, ano oras ba? Sige. May time pa tayo. Um, eto. Eto ay 30 degrees. Okay, now let's go. Um, sige, e, EY muna tayo. So, EY muna tayo. So, meron tayo nito. EY equals to E2 kasi pataas na siya plus um, E1Y which is um, which is uh, uh, E1, ano ba siya? Uh, minus wala. Minus, kasi pababa siya eh. Minus E1, sine 30. So, if we calculate that, KQ2 over 0.3 squared minus KQ1 over 0.52 squared um, sine 30. Tapos pag kinuha natin yung sagot dyan, ang lalabas ay, uh, let's see ha, ah. ang lalabas dyan ay 4.4 um, times 10 to the 6 newtons per coulomb. So, y component lang yon Ngayon, let's look at the x uh, axis. Ito na yung meron, E1x lang. So, we get E1, cosine 30 equals to kq1 over point 52 squared cosine uh, 30. We will get um, 1.1 times 10 to the 6 newtons per coulomb. Ngayon, meron na tayong magnitudes. Now, let's take the resultant. I'm going to remove all of this, ha? E equal square root of E1 plus E2 squared. Which is equal to IEY plus EX squared. So, it is just the square of these two. Ang makukuha nating sagot ay four point five times ten to the six newtons per coulomb. Then let's take the direction um, y over x, which is just equal to inverse tan. ng 4.4 over 1.1 so this is equal to 76 degrees so yeah I have an example for this mamaya kasama yung electric potential so that's what that's what I'll let you guys do sige ay ito pa pala meron tayo sige 
Try nyo tong... Try nyo tong... Ano na to? Try nyo tong... Ah, sorry. Try nyo to. Um, try nyo to. Take note na... Take note na equal ito, ha? Take note na equal ito. So, kapag kinuha natin yung reduce, dapat 40 cm yan. Okay? Sige. Okay. Mayroon may tuturo sa inyo after this. Um, check ulit mo. Ah, oh, check ulit, check ulit. Hindi pa rin. Tita pala ito. Ay, saan tita is? 26 of the 'di pa rin. <laughs> 'di pa rin.
Oh, um... Ayan. Ayan. Tama yung direction. Kanina. Okay, sige, it's fine. Um, I'll discuss na muna. Sige, um, I'll give... After this, ano... Um, okay. So, ito ah. Um, meron akong problem set for you guys. Um, for next week. Sige. Um, we'll, we'll have the chance naman to discuss it in depth sa next meeting natin. Sa next meeting natin sa physics, we'll just be doing solely that one. Uh, we'll discuss and answer that. So, yeah, I'll, try to, I'll try to solve this one. Eh? Um, yeah. So, yeah, 20 minutes lang tayo and we have one last part to cover for today. So, yeah. um, let's start. Ah. So, uh, here's our figure kanina. 40, 40, 52. Theta ito guys, theta, theta lang yan, walang, walang measure yan. So if you're, if, if you're going to get yung mga sine or cosine, uh, you use yung Sokatoa to do that. Okay, pero uh, other, other the less, step one, determine muna yung direction ng fields. Dito sa B, due to point one, it's going there towards one kasi nga uh, negative to, positive dito. So, E1. E2 naman, palayo sa taas. Then, yung resultant natin is this. Kaya lang, what's special about this problem? Take note, pareho yung magnitude ng charge. So, in some way, we can, ano, we can conclude something as symmetric. O, ibig sabihin, magka-cancel out yung mga uh, electric field. Saan mangyayari yun? Sa Y, magka-cancel out yung field. Kasi, e2 sine theta minus e1 sine theta, di ba? kq over r squared. Pareho lang yan. Kasi pareho tayo ng q. So, nevertheless, zero yan. Yan o, wala. Then, yung x natin, cosine theta plus cosine theta, um, dahil pareho nga ng charge, kung masasabi natin twice lang ng isang electric field, yung resultant natin, 2 times kq over r squared, Cosine theta is 26 over 40. 3.6 times 10 to the 6. Newtons per coulomb. Towards the right lang. Kasi, 
walang walang component sa y so it's solely due to the x axis 0 degrees okay okay gets ba yun guys or di masyado <laughs> Sir, okay naman. Okay naman. Yung iba, yung iba. Yung iba, kamusta? Okay, I'll just give uh, one more on this later for the end. So last one is electric potential. Okay. Ang electric potential, uh, ito yung ito yung huling concept na sinasabi ko sa inyo. Pwede tayo ng, tayo ng, um, sige mamaya na, pwede tayo ng proton from their example, it always moves to the opposite side ng electric field. Kasi high to low charge, positive to negative, para tayo yung flow ng uh, ano natin. So pag tayo tayo ng proton dito, doon siya pupunta. Pag tayo tayo ng electron dito, doon siya pupunta. Pag lagi tayo ng electron dito, doon pa rin siya pupunta. Okay? This is one thing to remember. The electric potential energy is the energy needed to move a point charge to a region of higher potential to lower potential. Delta Ve, tulad sa mechanics, is equal to negative W, which is equal to negative QED, force times distance. Tapos, uh, uh, the potential energy ng positive charge is highest near the positive plate. Kasi doon, hindi pa siya gumagalaw. Tapos, uh, rinirepel niya palabas, kaya tumataas yung, uh, kaya bumababa yung potential thereafter and um, nag increase yung kinetic energy. The same is with the negative charge. Uh, the electric potential, iba to sa poten electric potential energy, ha? yung electric potential is the amount of work needed to move a unit of charge from a reference point to a specific point inside the electric field without acceleration. So, ang unit niyan ay volts. Pe over Q. Kaya lang, uh, kaya lang, um, nagmamatter lang sa mga tulad dito, tulad sa potential energy, mas nagmamatter nagmam yung difference kasi nga may reference point din yan. Only the difference matters parate. Okay. Kaya delta V equals delta PE over Q equals negative W over Q. Okay. Ang um, isang um, potential difference pala is um, energy per unit charge, di ba? So, joules per coulomb or volts. Pero, um, before that, actually, um, most of the time, nag 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 end sa ano, nag end sa region of lower potential. Yung, ano natin, yung, nag, nag end sa region of lower potential, yung particle natin most of the time. Kaya, ang iba, ginagawa, binabaliktad na lang, para may positive. Okay? Kaya lang, take note, yung delta V, here, is expressed as this. VA minus VV. Initial, Minus final. Okay? Um, your choice naman yan, na, no problem. Ito kasi final minus initial eh. So, no problem, no problem. It's just ano, para mawala yung negative sign. So, in short, work is QED. Diba? Pwede natin express as QED yung work natin. Then, ito, Q delta V. Then, equating the both of this we will get delta V equals ED. Atong dalawa. Potential difference equals electric field times the distance. So that is the relationship of potential difference and uh, distance. So for the time, we'll drop that in delta. V na lang. And lastly, can also be expressed in terms of the point charge. Yung, yung ano, yung parang kanina. Uh, by, by, ano, by yung kaninang kq over r squared, di ba? V equals kq over r. 
hand. Yan, that's the whole formula. The same pa rin as kanina. Is the point charge. Ang kinagandu sa potential, hindi siya vector. So, wala tayong problema sa mga angle-angle. It's just simply add or subtract. Kasi scalar lang siya. Parang sa energy, you don't care about yung direction masyado. You just care about yung magnitudes nila. Okay? So, uh, let's take a look at this problem. The drawing ko lang. Sige, uh, take a look at the given muna. Magnitude of the electric field between the plates. So, simple lang ito. Ay, sorry. Um, simple lang yan. So, iba, B equals ED. Um, Liberation, calculate the magnitude of the electric fields. So, uh, electric field is V over D. 50 volts over 0 0.050 meters, which is equal to 1,000 newtons per coulomb. Or, ang, ang pwede ring unit pala ng electric field, di ba, ano kanina? Di ba, it's a uh, Diba kanina, newtons per coulomb siya kasi uh, force per unit charge. Dito sa, dito sa, ano, dito sa electric potential, electric field is, di ba, um, A equals V over D. So, pwede rin yun, volts per meter. That's another way of uh, putting yung electric field definition. Volts per meter. Electric potential per unit distance. Okay. Ito na. Sige. Hmm. Ito, simple lang to, promise. Sa point A, electric potential due to the two charges. Okay. Ito, here's how we do it. I'm just going to draw yung given. Tapos, uh, solve ko on the board. Okay. Okay, so now let's focus on this screen. Um, when I take potential, right, uh, straightforward lang. Add lang agad. No more, ano, no more signs. I mean, no more, ano, no more determining kung saan pupunta yung field. Wala, no. Kasi nga scalar ito. So we just add it straightforwardly. So, potential V equals KQ1 over R plus KQ2 over R. Dito naman, we take, account, we take into account na yung sign. Okay? Let's take into account na yung sign ng charge. Kasi nga, wala na siyang, ano, wala na siyang restriction at all. Wala nga. Um... So, uh, okay, so let's, let's answer this na. So, 9 times 10 to the 9 times Q1 times negative 50 times 10 to the negative 6 over R, which is 60 cm, plus KQ2, K, 9 times 10 to the 9, times 50 times 10 to the negative 6 over 0.3.
Ang sagot dyan ay? 1 point. Ang sagot dyan ay... Um, teka. Tama yung ginawa ko. So, ang sagot dyan kapag sinipasay natin ay 7.5 times 10 to the 5th volts. Nag-gets ba, guys? Gets no man, sir. dapat i-ignore yung sign para sa Q1. Okay, sabi ko kanina, um, dito sa electric potential, uh, Meg, dito para sa electric potential, ano lang, we don't, we don't ignore the signs na. Okay? Uh, kasi scalar na siya. So, yung, uh, yung direction doesn't matter na. So, it's just simply plug and play. Okay? So, Um, we take into account na yung signs dito for electric potential. Sa so electric field and electric force, uh, disregard yung muna at first. Dito sa electric potential, hindi na. Isama nyo na siya sa calculation. Kaya dito, inad na. We take account the signs na. Okay? Sige. Ngayon, balik tayo dito. It's more straightforward than before. Sige, let's go here. Dito. Ayan. Sige. At point B naman. Ano yung electric potential? Dari lang yan. I look for a problem dito for electric field. Ayan. Uh, that's for letter B. Yes, zero. Tama. Sige, let's just wait for the others muna. Um, check again. <laughs> Tama is zero. Tayo lang 
the clickbait platform so yan zero ah, good job tara Yes, sabi ko kanina, sa electric potential naman, um, sabi ko kanina, sa electric potential, uh, kasama na yung signs, okay? Sa electric field and sa electric force, hindi muna, okay? Yan ah, yun ang, yun ang mga distinction natin for these problems, okay? Remember that? Okay. Let's wait for a few more minutes. Let's hanap pa ng problem for electric field. What? Still searching YouTube for math help? Are the videos from 2006 direction of that electric field vector? We can call that E3. That would be this distance from and that other leg was A squared. And so as well as both angles. So this would have to be a 45 degree angle right here. Now, if that angle is 45 degrees, then confidently assert that. Okay. Okay. Let's discuss. Okay, so kita naman dito. Plug and play formula. KQ1 over, KQ over R. So Q1 is this. Q2 is this. Yung isa positive, yung isa negative. So, pag inad natin yon ay, sorry. Let's just load this. Ito na lang. Okay, so, tingnan natin, ha. Dito, pareho ng R, tapos magkaiba na sign. KQ over R, tapos KQ over R, magkakansel lang yan. Zero. Good job. Yan. So, Um, before we end, okay na ba? I'll give you one last example. Para lang sure tayong naintindihan natin. Tara lang, ha? Mm, eto, eto, eto. Um, share your hoods. Eto, present a window. Yan. Eto, eto, eto. Number 15. Last for today. Number 15. Naalala niyo tinuro ko about symmetry? Pwede siyang gamitin dyan, ha? Sige, go. Number 15. electric field. There we go. Last for today yan.
Oh, sa sa resto natin sa Jom. Ano, ano ang length nito? Sige nga. In terms of A, ano yung length nitong altitude to the hypotenuse? Uh, A over root 2, sir. Ano yun? A divided by square root of 2. Okay, good job. Tama. Ayan, that's my first clue. Um, ito pala, E equals uh, 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19 cubes. Yan pala. Okay, sige. Next kong tanong sa inyo, ano lang yung nagmamatter dyan? Sir, yung ano lang, third point charge. Tama. Bakit? Kasi magka-cancel out yung sa so one, uh, 1 at 2. Ayun. Tama. Sige. Go. Finish the problem. <laughs> tama yun. Yun ha. Important yun. Na remember, pinsan, yung mga, sa mga problems na ganito, um, it may look complicated at first, pero nandyan yung symmetry sometimes. So, it would ano, be easier to do yung mga gantong stuff right after. Oh. Hmm. Um, let's see, ah. KQ over R squared. KQ is 1 times 10 to the 9. K Q is 2 times 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 over um, e squared 2 over 2. 2 times 2. Times 2 pa sa taas. Times 2 over 6 times 10 to the negative 6 squared. Double check calculator. Double check, double check. Thank you, Ben. Yes, okay. Ano yung direction? Tama. Sige, let's wait for the others. Last two minutes.
Okay, sige. Time's up. Let's discuss. Um, okay. So, let's go back here. So, by geometry, alam natin 45, 45, 90 ito. Ito rin. Next. Number one, check signs. I, I check yung direction doon ng electric field. Ito, papunta doon. Ito, papunta doon. Cancel out. Bakit? Equal charge. So, wala na to. Dito na lang tayo may pake. Eh. Okay. Dahil isang charge lang yan, pwede natin diretsuhin. E equals PQ over R squared. Equals to 9 times 10 to the 9 times um, R squared. IQ is 2E, which is 2 times this one over R squared. R is, by geometry, ito dapat. E squared of 2 over 2 squared. So, substitute lang natin yung values, we'll get 160 newtons. Ano yung direction? Dahil, ito lang yung nag affect So, um, by geometry, 45 degrees. North of east. North east. Okay, gets ba yun? That's, uh, that's the last for today. Okay ba? Gets ba? Gets ba? Apa. Gets ba? Okay. Sige, that's the last for today. Sa next meeting natin, uh, we'll, ano, we'll, we'll answer more exercises on this para mas basa na tayo. And we'll look at, ano, we'll look at uh, kinematics and dynamics dito sa electrostatics. Kasi, sa course outline nyo, meron pala doon uh, motion and motion in a uniform electric field. So, we'll, 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 we'll discuss that next meeting through some problems. Okay? So, um, that's all for today. I will upload yung live video ko mamaya. Tapos, um, I uploaded na yung PowerPoint and problem set for next meeting. Uh, ayun, maganda sana if masagutan nyo. Okay lang naman kung hindi, pero ayun, just para lang may smooth discussion tayo and para ma-practice din kayo, it's good sana na masagutan nyo yung problem set natin. It's in the drive na, check nyo na lang. O sige, yun lang, that's all for today. Thanks guys. Sige. Oh, end, end, end. Um, ano ah, pag may mahanap, sana may mahanap pa kayong ano, interested magpa-tutor kasi, you know, um, I really need yung, I really need uh, yan nga, um, kasi mag-aaral ako abroad eh. I need, um, kailangan ko na pang simula and I'm willing to, I'm willing to uh, teach people naman para lang, ano, for money naman. Uh, para lang may pang simula ako sa Japan. Yun lang. Yun lang, if meron kayo, if meron kayo kailangan interest eh, grade 9 or 10, uh, sabihin nyo lang sa akin. Okay? Sige, yun lang. Thanks guys. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Yeah. Thanks, Paul.